What's up, Springs Church family? Matt Rupert here, and this is episode seven of Hope is Alive. I just wanted to share with you guys a passage from the book of Joshua. I just want to read it to you guys first. It says, And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went to him, and he said to him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? So he said, No, but as a commander of the armies of the Lord, I have come now. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth, and he worshipped. And he said to him, What do, what does my Lord say to his servant? Then the commander of the Lord's armies said to Joshua, Take your sandals off your feet, for this place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. Joshua had just taken over command of uh, millions and millions of people that were supposed to go into the promised land. And they were up against uh, uh, crazy odds when it came to looking at the city of Jericho. And when we read about Joshua, it says he was near Jericho. This is before the battle had ever started. He was near Jericho. So um, we think he could possibly have been walking or possibly praying, but we do know that he at some point was looking down because we read of how he looked up. And when he looks up, he sees a man standing in front of him with a sword in his hand. And so he approaches him and he says, who are you? Are you for us or are you against us? And it's so awesome what we see here is that this man responds that he is the Lord or the commander of heaven's armies. Uh, this person is God himself and we know that by when we read uh, that Joshua bowed down to worship him and this man didn't tell him to stop. He also said to take off Joshua's sandals because he was standing on holy ground, which is the same thing that Moses was told to do at the burning bush, which is just really, really cool. For us in our lives in this time, I feel like a lot of us are facing uh, a giant before us or what may seem like impossible odds with coronavirus uh, just uh, infatuating our media and even so many people's lives. It's the topic of every conversation and it can be very discouraging at times and I feel like like for us, we can tend to look down. I feel like uh, very possibly Joshua could have uh, been looking at the city, been looking at what he was going to have to lead these people into, and he could have been discouraged or thought, how, God, is this possible? And he could have looked down. But I encourage you guys, when, when, we, when the temptation is to look down or to be discouraged, to instead look up. When Joshua looked up, he was met face to face with Jesus himself or with God himself. And he's holding a sword in his hand. And instead of referring to himself as God or Yahweh or any of the many names he could have called himself, he referred to himself as the commander of heaven's armies, which it just shows of the resources that he had. God was communicating a clear message to Joshua saying, look, I have my sword in my hand. I'm ready to fight for you. I have the resources of heaven's armies at my fingertips. But for now, what I want you to do is take off your sandals because you're standing on holy ground. As family leaders, as parents, as leaders of small groups or within the church, or even just in our realm of influence, we are all leading some people and we have an influence on those people we're talking to. Now is not the time to be discouraged or to look down, but I encourage you to look up. And when we look up, we will encounter the face of God himself saying, I'm here for you. I'm fighting for you. And I am ready and willing to be with you through whatever comes our way. So I encourage us, let's look up in this time.